Hey everyone, back today with a, another haul. I swear I could do a haul every single week because I go to the drugstore, I go to Sephora and Ulta and all those other places way too freaking much. But today I had an excuse. Today there was breakfast before brunch for the VIB Rouge uh, participants at Sephora. So I went to that this morning and spent a good amount of money there, but I also did some shopping in one of the airports on my flight back just a couple of days ago and I bought some MAC products. I know if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my little post about that and a lot of people were interested in hearing more about those new items from their new collection. And I also have some drugstore stuff that I bought just a few days ago that I am obsessed with and want to share with you. So if you want to see a ginormous, ginormous haul, then keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with the drugstore products first. I picked up a few items from L'Oreal's Infallible Collection. This is the Makeup Setting Spray. Heard a lot of good things about this, wanted to get it. I've been using it for about two days and I really am enjoying this Makeup Setting Spray. I love it way more than I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and really any of the sprays that I've tried in the past. I can't think of any right now at the top of my head, but really loving it. I also picked up the Infallible Foundation. This is my new freaking obsession. I just love this foundation. It's a little bit pricey for drugstore foundation. I think it was $12.99 if I'm not mistaken. It's a little bit pricey, but you can always find L'Oreal coupons and buy this you know, for two, three dollars less, depending on what kind of coupon you can find in the Sunday paper or just in those ad coupons that get sent to your house. But this is absolutely incredible. It comes out in a liquidy, very light formula, and then it applies to the skin like a liquid, but then it dries almost as if it's airbrushed or if it's more of a powder but it's not drying at all. It's absolutely incredible because I have dry patches and it's not clinging to any of the dry patches. I've been wearing this already for a few hours today. Like I mentioned, I got ready earlier to go to the breakfast before brunch Sephora event. Everything is still intact. This is just incredible. And then to top it all off, I also got the Infallible Pro Matte powder. So I powder, use a little bit of this and powder my face and all of the areas that get a little bit oily. So the combination of just these three is absolutely incredible. It's definitely a little bit pricier than normal for drugstore, but if you want high quality, I really think that you can find this at the drugstore and it'll honestly be better than anything you've tried before, especially if you have oily skin and we're coming into warmer months now. So I've just been so impressed with this set of three. I honestly can't rave enough about them and I will be using this foundation. I may need to go back and stock up because you know, you never know when something is going to go out of stock at any point in the drugstore. So loving these three. So glad I got them just a few days ago. The next item I picked up was the L'Oreal Magic Anti-Redness Face Primer. And I have been trying a lot of anti-redness primers specifically because I do have a lot of redness on my face. Um, fortunately, this is the most incredible of them all. I recently bought two, which you would have seen in another one of my videos a few weeks ago, but I just absolutely love this. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial soon and I just will note the difference before I put anything on my face, then I put this primer on, and then I put foundation on. It almost makes my skin look like it doesn't need foundation because my problem areas are very red on my face. My spots are red and I just have redness in general. So when I put this on, I almost feel like I can go outside without any foundation on and look like a normal human being. So that's incredible and that's just for a primer. It comes out green and it's got like this little pump. It is just phenomenal. I am loving this. So glad I picked it up because it's way better than the other two items that I recently purchased for the redness on my face. Next thing was body wash. I got two Dove body washes. This is the pomegranate and lemon verbana scent, which you have seen in the past as an empty. And then I also picked up shea butter with warm vanilla. These were buy one, get one half off at Walgreens. So I decided to pick up Two because obviously save some money and I ran out of body wash after my last trip so 
I really needed some and I know that I can trust and count on Dove, so pick these bad boys up as well. Got this simple micellar cleansing water. I've heard a lot about it as well as the infallible makeup setting spray. And I thought this really was very uh, cost effective. I mean, this was also buy one, get one half off. So I thought, you know what? I'll just try two items from this line. And I was trying to figure out what the other thing is that I was gonna get. And I ended up picking up these oil balancing cleansing wipes from the same line. These are absolutely amazing. Honestly, the two of these do not make my eyes burn like almost every skincare product out there does. So I've been very impressed and I have a hard time with cleansing wipes because they always make the areas where I have the least amount of skin, so areas like under your eyes, around your eyes, and then lower on the chin, areas that don't have as much skin, after using this is just, it burns, it hurts. I feel like I, you know, I punch myself in the face, it's horrible. So I'm very sensitive when it comes to makeup removing wipes, but these have been absolutely amazing and they haven't hurt my skin at all. And this is also very gentle and takes off the eye makeup, even the toughest eye makeup with eyeliner and really tough to get off eyeshadow just takes it right off. So I've really been enjoying these two and I definitely do recommend them. And they're on sale right now. Buy one, get one half off at Walgreens. Go get yours. One thing I do want to mention that I purchased online just by itself is a By Terry Ombre Black Star. This is an eyeshadow stick, I would say, that I have been hearing about for eons and eons. And I thought to myself, you know what, it's really expensive but I have to have one, I have to try it. I mean, I'm a beauty blogger, I talk about beauty, I review beauty, I needed this in my life. It's a very big investment, but I've been using it almost every day already and I feel like I should be using it like for special occasions. But this is just absolutely amazing. This is the shade Misty Rock, so it's a nice golden, light brown taupey shade that looks incredible on the lids. It's got a little bit of shimmer, but it's not too much, and it's extremely long lasting. I really like to wear this with a little bit of other eyeshadow on top of it to kind of pack on the color, because it comes on in this really cool pigmented way. And I will show that to you in my spring makeup tutorial video that will be coming soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that but this just absolutely incredible love it it's beautiful and the quality is just amazing okay so the next four items are from my Mac haul which happened in an airport I think it was Denver's airport there is a huge Mac store with just everything and the day I was in there apparently the new Mac is beauty line had just launched so a lot of beautiful spring items just the most gorgeous light pinks, um, light neutral nudes, and it was awesome. So, of course, I swatched a few things and then I was like, I'm gonna need that. So, I picked up a new nail polish, and this is in the shade French Tipped. It's a light pink shade, and I'm actually wearing it on my hands right now. Um, I've been loving it, it's perfect. It also does match that new trend of doing like a light white shade with a hint of pink or a hint of green or a hint of blue. So I thought this really kind of went in with that trend, and it's light pink. It looks awesome. It makes your nails look super clean, super well done, so I'm just all about this. And it's very long lasting. I've already had this on for three days, I think, and it's staying intact really well. So I'm very impressed by that. I can't leave a Mac store without getting a lipstick ever in my life. So I picked up Diva-ish, and this is a gorgeous, bright pink shade that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. This is a nice shade that you can work with. You can kind of pat it into the lips for a lighter pink, or you can really put it on and get that bright pop of color. It's not a neon pink, but it's not a light pink. And I really like this middle ground of pink because it's very girly, very fun, very springy, and it's very vibrant, but not just like in your face, like I'm wearing neon. So I really am loving this. And I just love the way that MAC lipsticks smell. Honestly, there is nothing better than a fresh tube of MAC lipstick when you open it up and it just smells incredible and it's fresh and you just put it on your lips for the first time. It's like, yes. You know what I'm saying? I got a blush that kind of goes with that uh, spring trend. This is Peachy Keen. I used to have this blush a long time ago and I gave this package actually towards 
You know when you have seven empty containers, they give you a free lipstick or eyeshadow depending on what MAC it is. This is one that I gave away to them a long time ago and I, it kind of attracted my eye again and then I realized this is the blush that I've been loving for years and years and years and I just let it go because I, you know, finished it. So pick this one up again, it's absolutely amazing. Beautiful color, wearing it on the cheeks right now. It's a light, peachy shade of pink and I am just in love with it and have been for years. So had to pick that up. And then the last thing is I think technically supposed to be a blush, but you know what, I'm using it as a highlight. It is the Pearl Blossom Beauty Powder, and it looks a little something like this. I dip in one of the Real Techniques contour brushes and just kind of swish it in there, and then I put it right on the tops of my cheeks. It is such a subtle, beautiful highlight shade that I am absolutely in love. It stays on really well. It's very subtle, so it's not like the crazy Becca Rose highlighter that's going to stay on all day and be like, damn, she has a highlight. This is very subtle, so it almost looks like that natural, healthy glow that you're trying to get from a highlighter. So I'm loving this. It's absolutely amazing. It is limited edition, so get yours while you still can. Thank you.